chocolate gift imaginable. It's Choco Nouveau, all in one. Enjoy. Well, I have to say, happy holidays to you. If you're celebrating Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah to you. If you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. My name is Marlo Smith, and I'm so happy you're watching today. So we've got a fantastic show planned for you. The next three hours, we're in our semi-annual clearance and kitchen, and we absolutely have lots of great deals and values. Everything's really limited. We've got a wonderful promotion that's happening throughout the day. You spend $75 or more, and you can enjoy free shipping and handling. If you love the kitchen, and if you're a real foodie like I am, then you'll have fun shopping. Our testimonial talk line is open. I'd love to hear what you're up to today. Are you cooking? Are you wrapping presents? Are you watching Santa? As I understand, he is on its way. He's his way, I should say. I want to introduce our first guest because Carrie Maletto is joining us with a product that I think you're going to love. If you have been enjoying some of these flavor-infused liqueurs, mm -hmm. like cucumber-infused vodkas and raspberry-infused vodkas, and there's yeah. all sorts of brands that are out there, what about a chance for you to be able to make your own? And that's what we have. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I'm uh, so I know. excited to Countdown be here time. I can't believe it. it and I know so that fast. you've been nice. So Santa should bring you a lot of great things tonight. Well, thank you, Marlo. <laughs> so this is called our Taste Master Infuser. You yes. actually get two infusing spirals. The best way for us to do this is to actually show you how it works. Yeah. If it already sounds amazing to you, because I'm totally into the infused sure. drinks that are out there, but they're expensive. Yes. And it's a big commitment to buy a larger bottle, right, yes. of an infused drink, yep. there's a way to make your own. Because what if you don't like it, right, and you committed to this entire bottle, it gets a little hard, and then you're trying to give it away all the time. <laughs> How nice to be able to do it about nine ounces at a time, and that's what happens here. So you're able to freshly infuse your liquors, your wines, whatever you like inside of here. And now let me show you a slow motion how to use this. It has its own stand, number one, which I think is really cute. So when it's, when it's done, you can actually leave your infusion in here. Cute. So if you want to pick up a couple of these, maybe you're the party house and people like to come over. This is really cool when you start setting these up. The way it works is it actually the top part comes off and inside this chamber is where you want to put whatever you want to infuse into your liquor. Now I'm going to do a simple um, citrus infusion. So we're just going to do some lemon. We're going to do some orange. So just a little citrus. Actually grab me some lime, Marlo. Sure. Right from over here if you can. Okay, cool. We're going to pop some lime. Thank you, ma'am. I'm gonna pop those at the top. Good deal, that's enough. Okay, so then we're gonna take our lid right here. We're gonna place that on, make sure it's nice and tight. At the bottom, this actually turns one way or the other, and one way is gonna have it locked down and one way is gonna release it. So I will know as I turn it like this, my liqueur will start to fill the chamber. So you I see like how it. that's happening? So as soon as I get it filled, which again is about nine ounces, now that could be nine shots, that could be uh, two martinis, that can be, um, you know, just however you wanna divvy it up. But really what you wanna do is only infuse for as little as five minutes and your max is pretty much around 15 minutes. And the reason for that is you want that light flavoring, you don't want it to overpower. So now I'm gonna turn it this way, it's gonna lock it. I can now remove the tastemaker from the bottle, just like this, and it has its stand. So I could leave it on the bottle if I ah. wanted to, but look at this. It's an Art Nouveau design, so it's meant to look like an old time, really beautiful. I really like, like it. Almost, right? And look at the box even. I love things that come in beautiful boxes, but check that out. So it tells you how easy it is to use. It comes with three recipes in the box, and it's also coming with two smoking barrels. And those barrels are actually, the spirals are for, uh, for bourbons or whiskeys and nice. things like that. So those little barrels actually you'll put inside and that'll do like, uh, you know how you have like an aged whiskey or bourbon, that's what those spirals will do. So those are coming along, which you can never find those in the marketplace with it. But here it's just showing you again what I just did. So I placed it on top of the bottle. It's whatever you want. It could be vodka. It could be tequila. We're going to do tequila next. It could be whiskey, um, whi bourbon, sure, whiskey rum. bourbon, rum, wine. It fits on all those bottles. You infuse it in. Once you put your ingredients in, and then we would let this set. If you do things like, believe it or not, you could do like jalapenos. Oh, I you love can do the like idea bacon. of that. You can do maple syrup. So if you do like a bourbon with bacon and maple syrup, what we love to do with our Bloody Marys is horseradish. So you can actually infuse the horseradish right into the vodka. It all sounds good. To, it all it all sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I know one of the newer trends now is when you go to the bars that they are doing a lot of these infused style drinks. Uh -huh. We're over here on this camera. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I heard you, Mr. Director, so kind of help me with this. Um, this is an opportunity for you to be able to do, do it at home and unleashing your creativity and using the types of ingredients that you love. Mm -hmm. um, so if you'd like to order, I'm inviting you to come on in. That's what today is all about. I've never seen this product before. Um, I think it's fantastic. Here you, here you are. Here, thank you, ma'am. Um, here we have raspberries, blueberries, but it could be anything. I love the idea of the jalapenos. I love that idea. Imagine that with like a little watermelon in the summertime with a little vodka mm -hmm. or a little tequila. Um, what do you have here? Okay, so now I'm doing, it's a Milky Way candy. Really? I'm doing a, um, this is just a spiral of, uh, of, of orange. I'm gonna actually put a little bit, uh, about a spoonful of cacao powder. So I'm gonna put <laughs> one more orange in there. This is one of the recipes you're getting, by the way, and it's called the rumba. Okay, so if you wanna look at that, it actually breaks it down for you. The only thing I'm missing right now is my maple syrup, okay? So uh, we rushed in today, so I wanna just go ahead and do it this way. Um, so now we're gonna pop this in, but here's the thing, it really opens up your taste buds and your ability to practice and you know learn things and try flavors and try, I've done like peppermint candies. I've done, is it getting in there? Let me see, yep, yeah. we're going. Okay, going. cool, cool. I wanna make sure I'm open, hold on a second. So let's make sure. Do, 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 because it should go really oh, fast. Now there it's we really go. Going. Now we're in action, people. <laughs> okay, so once I get that in there, literally this is one where you probably only need to let it set for about 10 minutes because this is gonna change color really fast. Look what's happening already. It looks, you go, wow, that looks very interesting. When you pour this out and you drink this, this is actually that one that we made right there. If you love chocolate and you love citrus, mixed with tequila, this is gonna blow All right. your mind. You get that recipe. Um, it didn't yes. say it on my cards, but I see three recipe cards. Yes. So that might be fun, you know? Yeah. You're having friends over and you wanna you know, have a little fun, experiment a little bit. It might be something that you love. By the way, we're live on Facebook. I wanna say happy holidays to Lisa Kelly. Lisa says she's never seen it before. I've never seen this before myself, yes. Lisa. So if you'd like to order it, and I love what Elizabeth Eastman said. She says, wishing you all at HSN a, a Merry Christmas and a great new year. Wishing you a Merry Same Christmas. To you and your family. Yes. Um, we are going to continue. Yes. More great values. You're going okay. to hang out with I'm us a out. little while longer. I oh, look at what's coming up. So we have for you our Geek Chef 2.6 quart four and one tilt head stand mixer. What a great value um, for that. Um, and they allow you to make so much, right? Here, whether it's a recipe to make your very own cheesecake if you'd love to make it. A lot of you are baking and, and cooking now. This is a customer pick. If you've had your eye on this, it might be a great time to order. $60 off and five credit card payments of $19.99. Free shipping and handling on all orders of $75 or more, but that stand mixer automatically comes with free shipping and handling. Okay. Probably gonna have a few leftovers um, from the holidays if you're cooking at all or entertaining. If not today, from time to time, we all have a little leftovers. What about an opportunity for you to be able to warm those foods on the go mm -hmm. without a microwave? That's well, nice. that's what we're offering you. This is a Kitchen HQ collapsible electric food warmer. It is a warmer, okay? So it's not gonna cook your foods, it will warm your foods, but I instantly think about work where you might bring in something from home, little leftovers, and you wanna have something right at your desk just to kind of keep it warm or warm it. This is going to be perfect for you. It's clearance price at $14.95. It's on two credit card payments of $7.48. We have three colors, red, teal, or black. And I'm interested in just kind of learning more about the concept of this. This is another one. It's very interesting. Um, that I haven't seen um, presented here. I know, and you know, it's 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 been a while, and so I'm so glad we brought this back for clearance because I really think this is a fantastic idea. If you are a person or you know a person who works in a job where they don't have access to a microwave or you don't want access to the microwave, because that can <laughs> kind of be a very, I don't know if you know, it can be a very dirty place. Um, you can actually heat your foods and keep your foods. It's between uh, 160 to 165 uh, on average and it's going to keep your foods warm so all you do is plug it in on the side now this is collapsible so marlo is actually holding it in its form when it is collapsed okay so it's nice and small you can see that once you're done with it and you wipe it all down it can go right into
into your bag to go home. But I'm gonna take this from your hands real quick and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pull it up. So you just take the sides off just like this. It has a silicone all the way around to do a nice, nice tight seal. And you just pop it up just like this. It's funny, because they have laundry baskets and stuff that do this. But now you can do this with your lunchbox. How cool is that? At the bottom is the heating mechanism and this is the area where it plugs in. So it comes with your plug. And anywhere you have a plug, you can have a warm meal. So it's silicone all the way throughout. And then it has its lid that has a built-in, and this I love, fork, spoon, and even the fork, you just saw me cutting the lasagna, there's a little sharp edge at the bottom of the fork so it acts like a little knife for you. Oh, that's so you sweet. have everything you need. And I love that it keeps it covered here, right? Because that's the part that we put our mouth on, so we really don't want that to be sitting out in a plastic bag or something. This compartment I love, this is for maybe a fresh herbs, a, a little cheese, a, maybe a supplement that you don't want to forget to take, any of those sort of things. So it's a little a compartment just for that. And this lid goes right on top here. You can close it just like this plug it in and then let it set for when you're ready for your lunch. So I always say like if you get in at the top of the work day, just go ahead and plug this in. So if it was your lasagna meal, if it yeah. was your leftovers from last night, if it's your favorite dip that you want to share at the lunch hour well, that's with a everybody. Good idea. <laughs> I mean, whatever it is, it's keeping it warm. Again, 165 means it's never going to dry out. So that's really important too because sometimes you think, well, if it's just plugged in for hours and hours and hours, it's never going to dry out. And I think that's really great. Right. You know, it's interesting because even here at HSN, we're, we're 24 hours, seven days a week. Everybody's working a different shift. Yeah. Um, it's not that easy to find microwaves here. Sure. Because our, our, our campus, we actually call it a campus because it's so large here. I love the idea that right at my desk, I can just plug this in and heat something up on the go. Right. Um, if it's something that you're thinking about, I know always going into the new year, we start thinking about our weight how we're gonna be able to eat better, right? Eat more vegetables, eat more fruit. Um, we're also thinking about how do we cut cost. Mm -hmm. Eating out can get expensive. We mm -hmm. all know that. It's more expensive than it's ever been. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, and so I like the idea of you be, being able to bring either something that's ready made, yep. or even some of the small little containers that you have there that you can get out of the freezer department well, this is our to make it system. easy. This yeah. is our nutrition system. So make sure it's, it's a shelf stable meal. So from frozen, remember it's only getting to 165, so we don't wanna go from frozen, but from shelf stable, Yes, yeah. so if this is something, so Nutrisystem, which we sell here, those generally, all the Nutrisystem sizes will fit inside of here. So I wanna move down and just, I know we have such a short time, I always feel like I wanna show you so much. But here is just my ravioli, so again, I have my fork, I have everything. Pasta is one of those things that when you try to reheat it the next day, it never heats up the same, right? It gets dried out, it gets really, um, it separates, uh, so the oils separate and things like that. So this is gonna keep it at that perfect temperature to make sure it's delicious for you. And you have it for lunch. Now, remember how I said, maybe you want to bring your, you know, famous spinach dip to work or to your friend's house or something like that. I put fresh parsley in my little uh, container area here. And then of course I have my fork and my spoon right here. So I'm gonna pop that out. Again, it's nice and hygienic because it never touched anything. So there I am, look at this, spinach dip. If it sits out, gets kind of nasty, doesn't it? And if it gets too hot, it separates. So that 165 temperature is that perfect warming temperature to keep this perfect for the entire party or the work office uh, you know, get together or any of those things. So I love it for that. I love it for dips. Here's another great idea. There's so many people that work, like I think about the you know, UPS drivers, the Amazon Prime drivers, uh, you know, um, the po the post office person. Mm -hmm. They actually have little adapters yes. that you can actually keep in your car. So if you are if you kind of work, you're in delivery or you work outside or you work outdoors, if you have one of those adapters, thank you so much. If you have one of those adapters, um, that's gonna be perfect for you. Um, I look at this and I, I for, for whatever reason, I instantly think of college students. Right. I was one of those very poor college students <laughs> and when it's whatever you can get your hands on yeah. and a lot of college students eat a lot of soup and a lot of ramen noodles they, they, they just do it's just kind of one of those things well and you know and then funny enough just to say this but also think about anyone who has um allergy issues it's really tough on them to go out to eat it's really tough on them to find food when they're out my husband's gluten-free it's not always easy everywhere some cities are better than others so being able to pack things that you can eat whether it's sugar-free gluten-free yeah, um, maybe you're sure. diabetic and you really got to watch your sugar intake 
um, salt intake for a lot of us. So being able to pack something and bring it with you and simply just finding a plug. And like you said, in cars, for people who work in cars, like Uber drivers and people who just like really, um, a friend of mine had, uh, her father was a security guard. So he was at a building and that did not have a microwave. So he stuck there all night with no way to eat anything. So this is perfect. He has a plug. He can go ahead and plug in his meal that he brought with him and have a delicious hot meal. Because look, if there's one thing that is terrible when you don't have access to a kitchen, you're eating sandwiches all the time. Yeah. Cold sandwiches, cold whatever. And then you're trying to keep it cold with the packs and all that sort of thing. So here you actually have an ability to have a hot meal at any time as long as you have a plug. Well, you are invited to order 661461. By the way, thank you all for your kind comments on Facebook. I'm going to try to call out as many names as I possibly can. Uh -huh. But Merry Christmas to all of you and thank you yeah. so much. It has been a great year. It's been, a, it's been awesome. It, it seems like it flew by it though. It really did. <laughs> so let's just hope that we have many abundant blessings in 2020 and we all stay healthy and happy <laughs> and prosperous in 2020. Um, if you would like to own this by Kitchen HQ, and by the way, coming up at the top of the next hour, we're actually going to be giving you a look at our today's special from Kitchen HQ. Um, this is an opportunity for you to be able to see products perhaps that you missed out on or that you didn't see throughout the year. Many of the products that I've seen during our clearance events, I've never even presented. Yeah. You know, so if, if it's something Good that you love, remember, even with our clearance products, we still give you our same return policy. So you still have until the end of January for a full refund. Mm -hmm. So when are you on a plane? Um, I, when we close. So I'm actually here with you in the next uh, yeah, two hours. Right, right. And right. then I'm on a plane at 5.30 to go see my hubby for, uh, for the holidays. Okay, Yay. so I'll see you next hour? Yes, ma'am. I want to mention to everybody coming up next hour, um, there's a look at that four-quart nonstick cast iron casserole. That's going to be the last chance, I believe, or one of the last chances to be able to get this on the day. So if you're interested in shopping with us for our today's special, Mark Gill is going to be joining us for that full presentation, four-quart qu deep base, um, which is really nice. Those are the types of uh, pots that you want this time of year for your big pots of chili and stew and soups. Um, the cast iron lid, I love that because it's a grill lid, so um, it serves double duty, dishwasher say. And every time I think of cast iron, I think about my grandmother Harriet who had a black cast iron pan and she could make magic out of that cast iron pan. I want to say Merry Christmas to you. We're coming back with more semi-annual clearance after this. It's fun, entertaining, exciting, unpredictable, spontaneous, all of the above. It's a whole new way of shopping. Join us every Friday at 9 p.m. for the, the Friday, Friday Night, Night Show. Show. Think all remote controls are the same? Think again. Now when you're watching HSN and you see something you want, you can use your remote control to order it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's a safe way to order. With HSN, shop by remote. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day's a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. <laughs> I was telling Stephanie that I had egg salad today, and I walked over, by the way, this is Stephanie Roberts, I'm Marlo, I'm your host, Merry Christmas to you, and if you're celebrating Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah to you. Um, I was saying to Stephanie, so, and this is so true, years and years ago, I'm not sure if somebody talked to me to buying an egg cooker, or I just happened to buy one, and when I purchased that egg cooker, it was like a light went on. <laughs> I'm thinking... This is the best darn thing ever. Like, it's not even something, I've been cooking eggs all my life, right? right? I mean, most of us have. But when I tell you, if you want the perfect, perfect, perfect hard boiled egg, the perfect soft boiled egg, get yourself an egg cooker. I am not surprised at all that this is a customer pick. I am not. It's so strange, but it's so amazing how perfect this will allow you to be able to make eggs. You can make as many or as few as you want. We have it in, in a variety of different colors, so I just want to quickly go over that. Looks like we have the black that Stephanie's going to be working out of. We've got this pretty aqua. We've got a purple that we're calling grape, and then we have
have it available for you in the red. I've said how much I love it, and I'm sorry that I got carried away. No, but I'm you right said, there with you. But you said the same thing you love, uh, uh, net cooker as well. Absolutely. So I work with dozens and dozens of kitchen appliances, kitchen electrics, and people often say, what's the one thing you think you'd buy over and over again if you could? And my answer is the egg cooker. And the reason is, first of all, it's perfect every time. When you cook hard-boiled eggs the old-fashioned way, there's definitely room for air. Is there enough water? Did you boil too long? Dash eliminates any issues whatsoever and makes it so user-friendly. So we can hold up to 12 eggs in this egg cooker, but the first thing you have to realize, you don't have to. Yes. You can do two, you can do 12. So I'm starting to layer them in here. Now, what I love about the egg cooker is the simplicity, and that comes right down to the measuring cup. So you look at the measuring cup, and you don't have to measure it in ounces. You measure it in how many eggs you're cooking. Let's see, do I want hard, medium, or soft? And how many eggs am I using? And that tells you how much to fill the water to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 hard-boiled eggs. I've got my bottom layer there. Now you can see how easy it is. I'm gonna double-decker this one. Now, I could just stop at eight, but we're gonna go feed a big crowd for the holidays. And I'm gonna go ahead and do 12. Now, the other thing I love about this is a little bit of technology dash has given us a little pin right on the bottom of the measuring cup. The point of this pin is to put a tiny little hole in the egg. Don't be nervous. The first time somebody told me to push a pin into an egg, I thought this is not going to end well. But it does. It is made to exactly put that little pin prick in the egg. And the reason is, this is going to allow the egg to steam in the shell. This is what makes it cook perfectly every single time. So once I have the pin prick, once I have the, my egg cooker loaded up, all I do at this point is push the button. I mean, that is absolutely it. It is ready to go. Now, here's where it's so special. When you do it on the stovetop, you know, you got to check it at 12 minutes. Sometimes some of them yes. have exploded. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to go walk the dog. When this is done, it makes an audible noise and it shuts off. So if I'm not standing right there, no big deal. My mom taught me you put hard boiled eggs immediately to an ice bath. You can burn <laughs> your fingers doing that. And it's just not a lot of fun to be tossing around eggs. None of that matters. It's all done right here. And let's talk about the results because if you have been making deviled eggs for the holidays or maybe egg salad there is nothing worse than that big green edge around a hard-boiled egg. That has to do with when it's overcooked. Look at how beautiful those yellows perfect. are. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. The other thing is, when they're steamed correctly in their shells, look how easy these are coming out. They come out a lot easier. So if I'm making deviled eggs, I want that to look just like that. I want the outside to look just like that because the outside matters in a deviled egg. Do you serve your deviled eggs all beat up is what I like to call it because the eggs didn't cook well? These are picked you're perfect, ready to whisk the yolks if I wanted into a deviled egg mixture, but certainly party ready. And that is no given when you make hard boiled eggs the old fashioned yeah, way. And, and eggs are such a great snack, right? Just packed with protein. I think the calories in, in an egg is anywhere from between a 70, it might even be 90 calories. Typically around 70. Yeah, and yep. so portable, so you can take it literally if you're out the door, you're running late, and often I am, or you just want something to kind of take with you on the go. These are ideal. I would I was out uh, oh. to a new restaurant and the other day um, with one of my coworkers and on the menu as one of the appetizers, deviled eggs. Okay. Like they're, they're a real trend now. And what did you pay for them? That would be my oh, next gosh, question. Oh gosh, I don't remember that. <laughs> See, an Eggs Benedict, I love Eggs right. Benedict at brunch. You're gonna pay $12 for Eggs Benedict. Guess oh, look what? At that. It's just not all that complicated. Now, I have always thought making poached eggs is fairly complicated, but not with the egg cooker. Because again, when I measure my water, poached is one of the options. Do you want your eggs soft boiled? Yes. Do you want your eggs medium? Do you want your eggs hard boiled? The amount of water is determined by how you want your eggs and how many there are. The machine stops cooking when the water runs out and that's why that is an absolutely perfect poached egg. So not only are you getting the ability to do the 12 eggs, but you're also getting a four and a three poaching tray. So you could put little omelets in there. You could do the poaching, the soft eggs in there. So you could do seven of the, I would call them fancier eggs. You can do 12 of the standard hard boiled eggs and it just makes it so incredibly easy. So well, let me do this. I sure. want to invite you to order. Um, this is $10 on any major credit card. And of course we accept all major credit cards. Set yourself up for success as we go into the new year. You know, maybe for you, you're going to add a little bit more protein. Um, you're certainly, perhaps um, you've just you overcook eggs every single time, or you undercook them. I mean, they, they really are hard to get it right, unless you 
pretty much set a timer. Um, here's a chance for you to be able to get them done. On the day, I know that we've got our special promotion, $75, and you get free shipping and handling. I would buy this. This is, it's something that I love. I love a great egg cooker, and uh, Dash is one of my personal favorite brands across the board, whether it's the egg cooker or their blender or any of their products. They make really great, high-quality products. But this is great. It's every day. Read the reviews. Aqua red grape, which is a purple color or black. And um, I'm inviting you to just join us on this one. Uh, you have to, you you have to experience it for yourself. Because really, I do remember when I first bought my mine. I was initially I was like, what's the big deal? Until after the yep. first time. The first time you use it, you immediately understand what the big deal is. So I love it for healthy eating. If that's something you know you're going to start in the new year, look at what else you get. You get an entire tray that you can make Ooh. an omelet in. Now, I don't make omelets on weekday mornings because you got to stand there and lift it up, you know, let it go under, lift it up, let it go under. Or you could put all those yummy ingredients right here in your wide tray and cook it in the Dash egg cooker. Those potatoes were cooked right here in the Smart. egg cooker. Because think about it. It. This is a steaming vessel. So yes, it's made for eggs. Yes, it does eggs to perfection, but don't stop at eggs. Now you have this amazing countertop steamer. So for the new year, when yes. we're trying to eat a little bit leaner, I can steam my eggs, but look at what else. Oh, that's I great, I can steam Stephanie. my veggies. Now we actually also did the rice in this. It takes a few cycles to do the rice, so that one's a little more time consuming. But I'll tell you what, if you're in an apartment, if you're in, you know, in, a, in a second summer, winter home, a snowboard, or whatnot and you're just trying to keep your appliances down you can do rice in this then you can add your veggies to the top layer because remember we're utilizing all the pieces that came with this original yes made for eggs no doubt about it but that doesn't mean we I can't like steam it. shrimp that doesn't mean we don't steam veggies so all sorts of different things can be done and look at the capacity this is just a 12 quart 12 egg steamer, but I just double deckered rice, veggies, like and shrimp lot. and come up with an awesome, you know, really nice meal that I would not. I think we're still sealed in there. That's okay. That we otherwise might not have done. <laughs> I want to give a quick update. If you'd like to have the red, only three dozen remaining in the red. Oh, wow. So it looks like the red choice is going to sell out. Um, that doesn't surprise me. Red is always the number one accent colors in homes. Yes. Um, but you will enjoy it. You really, you really will. And I can't wait. I almost wish I could be there with you the first time that you use it. You go, oh my gosh, I see what she's talking about. It really is so perfect. And, you know, and many of you are, make, are making perfect eggs every time, but this, this really takes it to a whole new level. This is great. You know how many people are going to the gourmet coffee place and um, getting those sous vide eggs? At $5, five each. Yeah, they're yes. $5. Well aware. Okay, so here's what we've done. Remember, you're getting those two trays that will hold seven different individual eggs. So we're making a mini omelet in each of those seven trays. And the reason I'm plating them all separately is, are you having brunches this year? Do some people like egg whites? Do some people want vegetarian? Do other people like a little bit of meat? You can do each one individually. Yes. You can even have a little bit of an omelet bar and have everybody fill their tray. And then simply with the Dash egg cooker, you're going to steam it right there in the counter in a matter of minutes and suddenly, I've got brunch ideas, I've got kids that can pick what they're eating, and all I'm doing is adding a little bit of water and pushing a button. That's I love it. it, I love it. Stay in the phone lines if you're gonna order this one. Continue as we celebrate our semi-annual clearance. Have you been naughty or nice? I didn't ask I've you, Stephanie. I've been nice. Oh, that means Sam's gonna bring you some really nice things. Okay, good, I and hope so. Okay, so, what about a mixer? I like the idea of that, don't you? Well, it's customer pick, read the reviews, and that way you'll know if you want to buy it. It's coming up on sale, that's for sure, and we also have it available for you on FlexMate. That's a great buy on a, on a stand mixer. Well, happy holidays to you, and thank you so much for being here at HSN. We're counting down to Santa's arrival. By the way, if you're curious about the necklace that many of the, I think most of the hosts have been wearing today, this happens to be a J, isn't that beautiful? It is absolutely beautiful. That's the first time I've seen it in the blue like that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it's that. J Kings, and it's going to be an upcoming today's special. So I just wanted to mention that to you Ooh. because I know I saw Bobby with it on earlier and Michelle was on with it, and I've decided to wear it as well. So we are now going to introduce you to a, a wonderful product that restaurants have been using for decades. Um, it is called a sous vide way up 
cooking your foods. And it, it's been around forever. It's not new. But what is new is that it's kind of catching on now more and more for us home cooks. Why do chefs and restaurants use it? Well, when you circulate your foods, it creates restu restaurant quality dishes at home. Here's the point of buying something like this. You can never, ever, ever, ever overcook or undercook your meals. And so with restaurants, I've never worked, you know, in, in a, I've worked like in a fast food restaurant, but not, not like in a real right. fancy restaurant, but they're busy, right? Absolutely. And food is their business. They can't afford to overcook a steak, overcook the shrimp, undercook something. This gives them the opportunity to be able to get the accuracy, and it could be anything from chicken to steak to eggs to desserts. You literally can cook virtually anything in this. Here's the thing about sous vide. When you go out to eat, Milo's exactly right. This is what's being done in the restaurants. But people get intimidated when they hear the word. You know, it's French, it's all fancy. Sous vide actually means with vacuum. But interestingly enough, we don't have to put our food in a vacuum to use the Chefman sous vide. I literally can use any type of zip top bag. What's exciting about a sous vide, and I'm gonna turn this one on so you can watch the circulation. It is essentially a hot water bath for your food. Do you see the water starting to spin yes. around? This is the exact same thing that's happening in a jacuzzi. Now the reason a hot water bath is good for our food is because every bit of this water is the same temperature. And that temperature is what controls the cooking. So right now this is 134. And you can see it getting right back up there. The reason we like that is because anything that I cook in there will be at that exact temperature. So let's talk about steak, because that's the number one thing that we usually probably run into sous vide at a restaurant. First of all, I took my meat right out of the bag and into the pan. It's already cooked. This step here, you can skip. Now the reason I'm doing it, I really like the way that color looks, a little bit of caramelization, but it was already cooked before I got to the pan. The reason we sous vide is what you're about to see inside the steak. What happens when you grill it? You get a hot spot, maybe you get a red piece inside and you're like, uh-oh, I'm always sending my husband back to the grill. Nope, not done yet, even if we've checked it. Look at how even that is. Look at how every I mean, that turned out side to side piece of this strip steak is the exact same. So that's what happens when you set a sous vide for the temperature that you want medium rare. You can go medium, you can go medium well, you can set it for however you want because the whole point of sous vide, I set the time, I set the temp, it delivers every single time. And Marlo's got how you know about the time and temp. Well, so here's the thing. All you do is you plug in the information. There's always a guide that comes along with it. And yep. I will tell you, if you go on to the internet, if you go on to Facebook, if you go on to Pinterest, like there, you'll discover a whole world of people loving Absolutely. a So it's easy. You put in the temperature, you put in the time, and you can literally walk away from yep. it. Um, you can cook with a sous vide on anything, anything that you can attach a clip to. You can cook. So here, there's a fancy clear pot, but don't you can, need it. You don't need it. Nope. You can use you can use your regular stock pot. Put it in a stock pot. You, you can, can put, put it in a bucket. A cooler. <laughs> you can put it in a cooler. Yeah. All you need is something that holds water. The reason that sous vide cooking turns out perfectly every time is this is a good example with ribs. It is a low and slow method of cooking, yes. right? It does take a little bit of time. Not as long as a slow cooker, but certainly not quick like a pressure cooker, even not as fast as a grill. But what you're getting is the ability, so I took my rack of ribs, I put some rubs in it, I put some sauce in there, I literally threw it in a freezer bag. This is not a fancy bag. This is the kind you buy at the grocery store with the zipper top. I threw it in there and then I let the hot water circulate and look what comes out. Ribs are notoriously hard to get tender and juicy and these are literally Look at that, I'm not even using a fork. That is the end of a blunt tong and they are coming right off the bone because that is what that boiling water, we did this at a higher level, that circulating water did. Let's talk about the chicken. Again, I put chicken thighs in, they went in raw. I don't have to finish them in the pan, but I did to just to get a little bit of that browning. Again, do you ever have to guess whether or not your chicken is done? Did you dry your chicken out? There is no guessing when you sous vide. And again, in terms of actually touching it, it's like, oh, my hands are all barbecuey from that yummy sauce. It's like plugging in numbers to a computer. You set the temp, you set the time, you move it, See this dial? 
is altering the time for me. That's as much work as you are going to do and you're going to hit go, and there go my bubbles for the okay. water. So who's this great for? Well, this could be great for somebody who isn't a great cook. Absolutely. And, and maybe you're not a great cook because it is hard to figure out what the right temperature is, right? That's hard to do for every, especially most stoves either have numbers on them or high, medium, and low. Doesn't have the exact temperature of the foods. What this does is it takes out all the guesswork it makes it perfect every single time. Because the exact temperature that you're setting, it's never gonna go over that or under that. Correct. So, the other person this is great for is somebody who wants to do meal prep, which is big right now. Absolutely, right? because you can buy inexpensive cuts of meat, you can buy lots of meat, and you can, maybe you'll have a big sous vide party on a Sunday. It might take two hours to sure, do all your meats. Sure. But, you, but can, you don't have to stand over it and watch it. And you don't just do meats. I am pulling out carrots, I am pulling out turkey, I am even pulling out a gravy, because I actually use this one to do a reheat of my Thanksgiving dinner. I can use that same circulating water to reheat my gravy while I cook my beans and carrots, while I warm up my roasted turkey, and it was all done in a point of in a big pan of water. So it has this fancy word, which makes us think that it's a, a tough concept, but if you really think about it, this is hot water, it's being circulated, and we throw food in bags and put it in there. I mean, it <laughs> truly does not get any easier than that to cook. So to Marlo's point of if you aren't a confident cook, this is oh, an it's awesome, awesome way but, to do it. And if you're a great cook, it's only going to make you a better cook. Absolutely. Um, and that's why chefs use it. It's so interesting. I was watching a big morning program this week. One of the, you know, there are three big major mornings. Sure. Morning, and there was a chef there, and he was talking about that his recent book is a book about cooking with sous vide. It's been used in the restaurants for, for decades. They use a really super Huge, long, very big expensive. Ones. Yeah. But now that so many of us love to cook and are big foodies and want to be able to create that restaurant experience at home, they've made the device not only affordable, but easy enough for us to be able to use. If you want it, clearance price, it's $79.95. It's an opportunity for you to be able to have something that you may not already have at home. Great gift to give. We are offering it to you on FlexPay. And even though this is our big clearance event, remember everything still qualifies for our return policy. I want you to know that because it's these are all first run quality products. Everything's Absolutely. limited. But if you don't love it at the end of the day, you can always send it back. I like what you just did. Seafood. Seafood. So we've done veggies. We've done chicken. We've done steak. We've done ribs. You can do seafood. And the other thing I want to point out, because a lot of times when you get new kitchen appliances, you're like, where am I going to put that? Look at this. This is really all there is to it. And it seems so incredibly simple. But there's a heating element and the ability to circulate the water 360 degrees. That's it. And then you clip it on with the clip on the back. So that is all there is to the actual piece of equipment. Again, your pot, your water. We're giving you a chart that's going to show you how to cook anything you'll want to cook and help you set the temperature and the time. And oh, by the way, Chefman has a great app. I love the app. You can, if you wanted to, set this to go at 4 p.m. Leave it set up just like this during the day so that when you come home, it would then be ready for you if you wanted to do that. The other thing the app does, it has awesome recipe ideas. Oh, that's and it neat. lets you step-by-step -step pick through and decide, okay, I'm cooking shrimp. I'm cooking frozen shrimp. Here's your temperature. Here's your time. So you're not going to get this home and think, what do I do? Because literally all you need is two pieces of information your time, your temp, and hit go, and, and you're done. And by the way, that app works on both Apple and Android yes, devices. Yes, it does. So it doesn't matter if it's the phone that you have now or the one that Sam is gonna bring for you. Ooh, <laughs> I hope that's a hint. <laughs> <laughs> so we were joking earlier about when you go to the coffee store and they sell those sous vide egg bites. I am very guilty of that being my yeah, morning grab and yeah. go breakfast when I'm trying to be healthy. They are so expensive, or you could make your own. So think about this for meal prep. Let's say on a Sunday night, you set up your sous vide in a pot. Okay, that's not a big deal. You get out a dozen eggs. I like to add a little bit of cheese, sometimes cottage cheese too. Oh, Makes for a really, a that's how they get them creamy, ah. is that they often use a cottage cheese. Couple of little jars, whatever you have sitting around, and you can make your own sous vide egg bites for the week. Oh, that's and just perfect. keep them in the fridge and grab and go. So for me, this kind of checks my box of trying to save money, doing a better job on my budget in 2020. Honey, if you just did that, you'd pay for it right there. Oh, 
discount is going to save you so much money. Yep. Because even if you're going to that coffee place three times a week, that's $15 a week. You multiply that times the month and off we go. You've got one of these paid for Mom's in a month. Mom's going to have her new designer handbag and some new shoes. Exactly. <laughs> and the other thing is, let's say I'm also trying to watch those calories and sure. carbs in the new year. I'm cooking so many healthy proteins simply by boiling food in a bag in water. It sounds so silly, but it's so accurate. All right, we're going to wrap up our presentation, but if you'd like to order, let us know. We can get this out to you. We have so many exciting, great products all on sale for you during our semi-annual clearance. Coming up, a look at our today's special. That's coming up at the top of the hour. Mark Gill is going to be here. It will be the final live presentation of our today's special. What are we offering to you? Our Kitchen HQ Elite Four Quart Nonstick Cast Iron. This is not your grandmother's cast iron because it doesn't need any seasoning. It's top rack dishwasher safe, and it is incredible. Look at that price. Wow. That's an amazing price. And it's for so heavy duty. Four quart? Yeah. Yes. $39.95. That's what an 8-inch fry pan could cost you. And if you'd like to order in advance, we've got beautiful colors for you to choose from. $13.32. That's all coming up at the top of the next hour. We're coming back right after this quick little pause with a stand mixer that's already a customer pick at a wonderful value. Stick with us, everybody. We're partnering with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital so that families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food. This holiday season marks HSN's 10th annual HSN Cares Designer Ornament Collection, including more than 20 exclusive ornaments designed by some of your favorite HSN guests. With the purchase of every ornament, HSN Cares will donate $5 to St. Jude because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. I love FlexPay. FlexPay is a way to pay off your purchase in small increments. I get to make monthly payments on it, but I have the item at home with me. That's probably my number one reason for shopping at HSN. To break it up and have a monthly payment that's usually so low. It gives you lots of opportunities to really make purchases that you might not be able to make otherwise. It just makes it accessible for everyone. Much better than throwing it on a credit card at a brick and mortar store. for being here at HSN. My name is Marlo Smith and I'm so happy to be your host today. Merry Christmas to you. And if you're celebrating Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. This is Stephanie Roberts. Happy holidays. So nice to have you here. Good to be here and baking. Oh so, my gosh. I didn't get a lot of holiday baking done at home. I will admit that. And if you were in the same boat and maybe the reason is because it just seemed like too much work, this is what you need. But boy, this is not just for holiday baking. This is the Geek Chef Stand Mixer. And if the one reason and why you've never splurged on a stand mixer is because you've thought, gosh, they're hundreds of dollars and will I really use it? And they're so big and bulky, Geek, Geek Chef has changed both of those things. This does absolutely everything. The large, expensive, and heavy stand mixers do on a smaller scale. I love the fact that it's only 11 inches wide and 11 inches tall. It weighs less than 10 pounds. You can slide it into your cupboard so easily and because you can grab it out so easily, you grab it all the time. It doesn't end up sitting on that high shelf because it's too heavy to work with. So I'm making a box cakes mix. No shame in my game. I often do, but I didn't get out my hand mixer. I'm not, did you know it too? Not a bit of mess. None of that powder flying all over. The planetary action of those mixers is making it picture perfect. And with seven speeds, I can start on a pulse. I can get my mixer going. Do you see, oh, I like you to watch this. Do you see how when I pulse it, that's not a perfect circle, it's an orbit. That's called planetary action. So I'm pulsing there, it's reaching the sides of the bowl there, and then I can turn it up as high as I need it. And that, my friends, is full power right there, 550 watts. It so, just makes cooking easy. No, you know, I think you, you said it perfectly. The reason why most of us don't have one, right? Or you may have one. I actually have a larger one. Do you use it? It's in my garage. <laughs> yep. and, 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 and I love it. 
But the reason why I don't use it as often is because it is so large, yep. right? It's too big to sit on your countertop. And uh, the scale of this, and I guarantee you that's why this is a customer pick. I encourage you to read the reviews. If you'd like to order it, not only is it on sale, $60 off, free shipping and handling on this. There are two colors. You're looking at the silver, but I think the red is really beautiful if you love the red. I do okay? love them both. Yeah. I also love the fact that you're getting so many different things. So we made our cake mix with the whisk attachment, right? And you notice that tilt head, I know the big fancy has ones, they talk all about it. This has every yeah. single feature as the large big name mixer you are probably thinking of. This is its younger sister is the way I'd say it. It does absolutely everything. So I got my tilt head and that is the whisk. Now on this machine, I'm utilizing the dough hook. Now I'm not making dough right now. I'm actually making meatloaf. I have put raw meat in here, some breadcrumbs and some egg. Why am I so excited to use a stand mixer for this? Because I don't really love to touch raw meats and now I don't have to. This will get a good mix of my meat going around and you know what I can do I can take an ice cream scooper and scoop this meat out and make meatballs without really ever touching Such a great the size. meat so I love that I oh, don't gosh. end up having to touch it I, this is 2.6 quarts yes it will make a batch of chocolate chip cookies from the chip bag right I mean it's here's the thing unless you are commercial cooking and making cookies for 50 and six cakes at once this is the size that you and I all feed our families with on an average day. It is a batch of three dozen cookies. It is a box of cake mix. It is, you know, mashed potatoes for my party of six. And boy, is it mashed potatoes. I tilt down. Now I'm util utilizing my paddle which also comes with it. So you're getting the three different attachments. I start everything on pulse and look what I'm able to do. I'm able to get those mashed potatoes not whipped because that's when the starches break down. If your mashed potatoes are wallpaper pasty tomorrow, you broke down the starch. <laughs> what you wanna do is you wanna gently smash them and then they get that nice creamy consistency. I don't wanna turn this to high, but you know why I'm glad I have 550 watts? Those are some hefty potatoes. I agree. By the way, all the tools that come along with it are dishwasher safe, so yes. you're going to love that. It really is about the quality of it and the, si the size. I look at this as well. I think most families now, the majority of the families are families of two, families of three. So we don't necessarily need that oversized stand mixer, right? For holidays, yes. For Easter and Thanksgiving and those type of holidays, of course. But for any day of the week where you're just making a regular family meal, this is going to be perfect. The other thing I like this for is for a lot of the young people. If you oh, notice sure. now, there are a lot of uh, competitive television shows now that have kids cooking. Some of those kids can cook better than we can. And so I love this, that if you have a little ins uh, ins insp aspiring chef in your life, that the scale and the size of this is so awesome for them that I would grab it. We have it on FlexPay. It's $20 in free shipping. $20 on a major credit card. This is appealing to me. I imagine it probably is appealing to you as well. If you'd like to have it, choose the red or the silver, and then let us know. Grab it while it's on the clearance price today. Wow. Okay, so that. one hand, I'll let you finish what we're looking at. You're looking at the seven different speeds that they're showing you on the red one. There's that planetary action. Do you see how it's not just a circle? It orbits around the edges of the bowl so that you don't get food sprayed all over the edge of the bowl. So easy to slide in the Look splash guard, which That's you were great. getting if you needed. I gotta tell you, this mixes so well. I don't often use the splash guard just because it isn't splashing. I am not overly strong. I am not showing off my biceps. I am showing you that this is less than 10 pounds. Marlo keeps her full-size stand mixer in the garage and the doesn't get one. it down, and you are not the only one. <laughs> I keep this under my kitchen island, and I get it out several times a week. Yeah. By the way, when it's on the counter, I want you to listen to this. Hear that? It's got suction yes. cups on the bottom. So that when I am working through those big hard potatoes, it doesn't shake, it doesn't move. It is so incredibly secure. It's an awesome, awesome price for what you're getting. And again, just the versatility and the fact that the, the practical size makes it terrific for every day. You might you might be getting cookbooks um, for, Santa might be bringing you some wonderful cookbooks and wonderful recipes to try. This is gonna be so timely for you. 617-871, if this is on a gift list, 
lift us list of someone just because we have Christmas coming and Santa on his way doesn't mean that we stop giving gifts. Right? Exactly, because <laughs> we all know we get gift cards and fun things to spend. Oh yeah. All right, so here is a recipe idea. You, I'm pulsing right now just to get this going that I would have never thought to use a stand mixer for. This is chicken salad. Yeah. So I took poached chicken, which by the way, if you take a fork and sit there and string it apart, it is not a lot of fun. It's often hard on the fingers. And a lot of why I enjoy using my stand mixer is simply because it, it helps me with the dexterity issues. I don't have to grip a spoon and stir and stir yeah, and stir. That's great. I don't have to take forks and shred and shred and shred. What this does to a chicken breast with just a little bit of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper, that is it. Can like, I say this, Stephanie, want to chime in there? Yeah. I'm happy that you did this recipe. I love it. Because to me, this is this is real life. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Baking a... is fun, but this is real life. <laughs> Honey, this I'm is with Wednesday, it's hump day, and I'm tired. I'm with you. So you <laughs> have I'm some chicken to... and you throw it in throw there. Throw it in there. With some mayonnaise and some salt and pepper. Quick, easy, and delicious for your family. Absolutely. And that's the thing. You think stand mixer, you hear stand mixer and you think baking. I get it. It is perfect for baking. It is wonderful for breads and cakes and cookies, but not too many of us are able to eat breads and cakes and cookies all year and all week long. What you end up using this for, because of its ease of use, look at that, push and rotate, into the dishwasher, no problem there. Bowl, push and rotate, off I go, wipe this. This is dishwasher safe. Look at this, consistency of the shredded chicken. Oh, I love it's just poaching like it does meat. in the deli. It does, and you know what? They are using a big old fancy one of these. What Geek Chef has done so well, and by the way, I always get asked about the name. So Geek Chef is literally a bunch of guys who love kitchen, and they're geeks about making things more affordable and better working. Because what makes us frustrated in the kitchen? When it doesn't work well, yeah. right? When you, your recipe doesn't turn out. What Geek Chef is so good at is taking an item like a stand mixer, making it approachable, usable, and affordable. So we got rid of the weight. We got rid of some of the massive size because this is the size that you and I need to do our everyday lives. And that's why you end up grabbing this and using it for your everyday lives. So the silver is the most popular choice. If you like the silver, let us know. It's the mm -hmm. one that should sell out. Um, but we do have the red as well. But if your favorite is the silver, then you certainly want to reserve it. Yeah. Okay, so I cranked this one up to high because I do want to talk about power. When you need power, it has power. Don't think just because it's a smaller footprint, it's a weakling. Not at all. 550 watts. We are cranked up to level seven. And this is what you would do if you are making a meringue, if you are maybe whipping some eggs together quick for a quiche or a frittata. But the reason that we usually use these kind of on a repetitive high speed is when we are getting stiff peaks out of our egg whites. And I like the fact that in about 30 seconds, I can go from a nice soft, frothy egg white to stiff peaks. I'm not scraping a hand mixer against the bowl. I'm not clenching a hand mixer and having my hand and arm bother me. I am letting this do the work because honestly, it does a much better job than I do. You can see how planetary action means it's not just spinning in a circle, it's reaching around to all the different angles of the bowl. Now, if you are worried about things spraying, if I'm gonna put in some sugar, if I'm going to put in a little vanilla, I do want to point out you are getting the spatter shield as well. So that's the stand mixer, the three different attachments. We're using the whisk, we've got the dough hook, and we've got the paddle. All of this is coming to you as a base unit, and that sort of really does a great job of covering all the bases of what you would want to use. A quick tilt, and we can check. I would call these about, oh no, we're there. We are there. Good stiff peaks That's on my egg whites. Awesome. I love it. You know what? You can never have too much, right? Let's layer another layer on the pie. Ooh, I love. Mm, yes. Nothing better than good meringue. And I will tell you, I know this intimidates a lot of you with baking. Meringue can be tough. Yes. Egg whites don't always behave. And you can make up for a lot of that by having a that mixer came out great. that makes it happen. And you know what? I'm going to act like that was my skill. That was all <laughs> Geek Chef, you know? You know, I think so many of us are <laughs> aspiring bakers, right? I know I am. I've always wanted to be that person. Yeah. I, I real, oh, my gosh, yes. Uh, not quite there. 
Like right there because of my work schedule. Right, I um, get it. Boy, I tell you, if I had the luxury of time, I would try it. If you are fortunate enough to have the luxury of time, or some people find this it very- gives you back time. And some people find it very therapeutic, right? Yep. Here's your chance to be able to get that perfect stand mixer. Customer pick, free shipping, $19 on a credit card, two great colors, albeit the silver choice is almost sold out. Um, if you are interested in letting us send it to you, just reserve it. Call our toll-free 800 number go on to our website hsn.com or of course you can certainly shop with us by any of your smart devices baking cookies and that's the thing we're talking about everyday uses here most of us use that chocolate chip cookie mix on the back of the bag this is that recipe this is the recipe in the 2.6 quart bowl do you make four and five times that recipe i doubt it most of yeah, us don't most of us so don't. why use a stand mixer that is four or five times bigger that recipe on the back of the bag fits right in of this bowl. I started on pulse. Sometimes I let my butter and sugar cream a little bit better, but I wanted to get the ingredients in. No flour spray, no sugar spray. If I want to use the splatter guard to add my liquids, I can. But more than anything, this is going to take a batter and make it the perfect consistency. That is what makes this different than doing it by hand. I know how to make cookies by hand. Of course. I'm pretty darn good in the kitchen, but it takes a while and I don't do it perfect every time. And there may be a butter chunk on one side and the flower ball on the other. This is how you get perfection each and every time. And the other thing I like about it, it can handle some cold butter. That butter we put in there was yeah. not softened. And well, that's, that's okay. Look at it come together. Well, that's what I like about this. I don't have as much strength in my hands and my wrists as I'm I with used you. to. I'm with you. And so I love that we live all the heavy lifting to the stand mixer. 550 watts of power. And you can hear it now. Yeah. I mean, it's getting into some thick butter. It is not, look what it's not doing. It's not jumping on yeah, the bottom yeah. at all. Good point. It is suctioned down. We're giving it a good workout there. I like that we just did that to it. And so then we tilt up and look at, there's my batter. That is completely completely chilled. We use cold butter to do this. Pull it out of the paddle. We're good to go. Paddle comes down. We're ready to roll. Make some balls, make some cookies, and, and out and we go. Yeah. I love it. Ready to leave something for Sienna. <laughs> that is a great idea. I hope everybody <laughs> remembered that. <laughs> I, but before we talk about dough, let's skip down and just take a look all together okay. about everything that is coming with Geek Chef Stand Mixer. So you're getting your dough. dough hook, you're getting your mixing paddle. I would use this for the thicker things like the cookie doughs, like the meatloafs, like the potatoes. Then Here's you're your getting whisk. your wire whisk. I use that for cake mixes, uh, lighter things like brownie batter aren't as thick. This I really like. The splatter shield is with great the, with the pour spout right when you're starting a cake mix and those first couple you know rotations sometimes make a little puff although i will tell you my secret is that if you pulse a couple times first before you go on to one, two, three, four, yeah, five, yeah, yeah. then you don't have as much spray okay. too. That's what a lot of people do is they just sit down and crank it up. Listen, it can do it, but it does tend to spray some flour. The splatter shield is there just in case or just start slowly. I wanna point out, Geek Chef is not just about the basic mixing capabilities. This stand mixer expands as much as you want it to. There is a hub in the front you can attach a meat grinder. It's sold separately, it but it's available. It is sold separately, but I want to point out that the machine is a hub for other Which pieces. Which is just like the more expensive Absolutely. one. Absolutely. When I tell you every single feature is okay. there, every single feature is there, and that includes the hubs. There's a hub on the front. There is a hub on the top. You can add a food processing feature. So check it out wow, online. You will see that there's add-ons available. Even if you're not adding on now, no big deal. Just know that the machine is capable yeah. of doing way more than just this, but just this under $100, and I can lift it, and it's not too big, and I'm not intimidated by it. Sign me up. Sign me up. I'm sold. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. I love every minute of it. I love it, too. I mean, you know, there are people that actually save to get that more expensive, right? And we sell that sand mixer here. It's awesome. It is awesome. But it's not for everybody. So here's an, here's an alternative for you that's just as great. It's just a smaller footprint. That's, that's it. the only smaller footprint and less expensive. And if that sounds great to you, then certainly ask about it. Free shipping and handling automatically on this one. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. You're gonna make your own bread. You can do anything. So I'm not. I'll be honest. Your own pizza I don't dough? usually make my own bread like you. It's just a time issue. <laughs> but pizza dough. You. Yes. I know everybody's talking about certain dietary restrictions. We've got a lot of kids that come over that are gluten free. So get your own flour. Make your own pizza dough. Your kids don't have to, or you don't have to cut these things out of your diet. When you have the way to do it yourself, you can tailor it to to whatever you want. Pizza dough is literally flour and water. It's not expensive. But come on, you know you've paid five or six bucks for 
that ball of dough at the grocery oh, store of course. when we totally could have done it ourselves. But you probably thought, I don't want to do all that mixing. So I'm letting Geek Chef do the mixing. And the consistency is absolutely amazing. I quite honestly can't get this kind of consistency doing it by hand because trust me, I have tried. So whether you're doing the doughs, whether you just want to make cookies with your kids in the new year, maybe you're making a resolution to try to do some more cooking in the kitchen. Kids can do this. You know, obviously you're going to supervise, but you can teach them how easy it is to turn on things oh, they can and do, do this. mixing. Absolutely. Oh gosh. To I've me, watched, this is very family friendly. Yeah. I've watched those shows. Those kids can easily get in and handle this. Yep. But remember, this is not a toy. We're talking 550 watts of power. Absolutely. It's the real deal. So it comes your way, $60 off. Uh, take advantage. Hop in there and take advantage of that flex pay. $20 to be able to get this at home. Choose the red or choose the silver. Keep in mind, if you want the silver, though, you do need to hurry as that one is super, super popular. Oh, good. Uh, I love that. Show. Yeah. But I love all the things that you've made here, from brownies to breads to obviously cookies. cookies. To pies. Yeah, to meringues that you can make with this, to your sweet potatoes and meatballs. And Think cakes. about every day. Remember yeah. the chicken salads, the mashed potatoes, the meatballs. This is phenomenal for baking, but we don't bake every day, but you can use this every day, and that's why it's become a favorite. Won't go in the garage, right there on prime cupboard space. If you're interested in any, any of the additional accessories just check for them on our website Stephanie good to see Merry you Christmas. Merry Christmas I think I see you again though I think so a little yeah, bit I'm not on. leaving yet yeah we got a couple more hours we to do go. we're still going All right, coming up though we want to take a look of the egg cooker um, that came up my producer is saying that you guys loved it I loved it too good I do it's a great price so the too. red sold out thank you for your phone calls and your orders on the red we have aqua and grape only wow very good Okay, and we don't have a lot. If you're, I'm telling you, you'll, it's gonna be a game changer for you. I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't mean it. Okay, I wanna say happy holidays to all of you. And I can't be trusted with the iPad because for some reason, oh, it doesn't keep breaking. I think I keep hitting something and then I can't see anybody's comments. I know, and I wanna say hi to everybody. Okay.